coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next C++ SML 2.0 tutorial and in this tutorial we're just going to be uh, we're not going to be adding anything to our code but we're just going to be looking into something uh, really quickly and um, uh, one one thing that a lot of beginners or maybe even intermediates or or whatever make uh, a mistake of is that sorry is that whenever we're like working on our maps or something like that uh, we, we sometimes make things harder on ourselves and um, the reason being is that um, there's some things that we can do just to speed up uh, like speed up production time by even say five seconds or two seconds each time and even though you might be saying oh two seconds or five seconds each time is nothing it really adds up right and whenever it comes to making a, a big game such as a platformer or RPG uh, 3d game or something uh, this is really gonna be really relevant and it's gonna be very useful to you now half of the people might see this as common sense the other half it might be a light bulb moment I don't know but I've done this for my other tutorial series so I'll do for this one so we're gonna be loading maps in real time and you know what I said I wouldn't add to the code but um, I actually might add a, like just one a few things to the code so what loading maps in real time is that if we're editing or we're working on our map right and um, well, we have our editor or something like our editor or designer wants to work on the map and see how it looks in the game window right well this is what they would have to do they would have to go into their map make the change okay uh, let's just put zero zero I have to make the change save it run the program right it doesn't have to recompile right so that that's a speed boost we have to do that okay so we, we see that change uh, we don't like it let's say we don't like it so let's we have to go back again close it again change it back do whatever we need to do okay and because of that it just takes after a while it would just take entirely too long to redo the same process again well what if we could load it while the game window is still open so that's what we're gonna do and then we'll be able to do different stuff faster that way so now we're gonna say event key pressed we're gonna say uh, if um, if event dot key code equals SF keyboard L let's say L for load then we will load our map now what we gotta do is let's just make a void and we'll just avoid function and we'll say load map and we'll take in a constant char file name just in case because we can we can also add in methods to load in different maps in um at the same time so say you want to you're designing three different maps right you could have a dynamic way where that you can um, select uh, let the program know which map you're loading in you pass it into the file name parameter and it will load that corresponding file so it, it will it will help greatly um, that way as well um, so what we're going to do is uh, We'll take all this right here, cut it, paste it in there, and instead of putting map one dot text, we'll just pass in file name like that. So, and you can make a you can make a method for I mean a function for your your drawing your map, but it's really up to you. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna call load map. Now we only have one map right now, but for example, like I stated before, if you have a dynamic way where you want in your program, like you press the right arrow, it increases, uh, it changes the different map file, then you can edit a bunch of different map files and see the different changes that you've done to the map, right? Um, so if they press the L key, we'll reload the map uh, once again. And um, we do have some Okay, what we're gonna have to do is just put this. I know this is not good to have a global variable, but just bear with me. 
I, I know it's not good programming practice, but we're just doing this for an example. Okay. Um, so we'll have the map in there and uh, we'll put the tiles out here just to save time. And if you guys really want it to be proper, then that's a challenge for you guys. So, um, we, we've gotten our stuff there. We, we load the map and what I'm going to do also is inside here inside the beginning of the function, what we're going to do is just set temp map. Let's just clear it. And we got to clear the map as well. Because if we don't clear the map, it's just going to add to our map. So we're going to have to clear it. Um, and, and basically, that's all we got to do. Um, so if we run this program right now. So our map is not been. Hmm. Our map is not being loaded. Oh, the reason being that was stupid of me. Got to put load map right there first. So we're going to load the map. Now we're going to display the map. Okay. So now we're going to make a change to our map right now. And I'll just add one right there to make it one zero. And I click L. And when I click L, as you can see, the change happens in real time. Change this right here. Click L. We can see the change. So with this, the designer can make any change to the map and they can see their changes right away. Right. And um, with that being with if you want, you could even set it that whenever you make a change to the file. So when you save the file, then it automatically updates in the game by itself. Right. So you could do that without having to click L. But that's really up to you. Now, you're probably not going to want to have this feature in the game itself. This is mainly for testing purposes. So you could add in a define that says if testing, then you can add this um, this in. And if you're not testing, then you don't add it in. It's really up to you what you want to do. So like if you guys are like, um, uh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, then I then you could, um, I could just put something like a define and I could put testing and I go set to one. And then you could say that um, if defined, so you, oh, I should put a break here, but I could say uh, if defined and I could say testing or whatever, or if I can say if testing is equal to one or whatever, right? then we can do it and if testing is set to zero then we don't do anything with it uh there's a there's a bunch of things that you can do um you could add an if statement so it doesn't even have to be a defined statement it could be an if statement whatever but there's a lot of things you could do with this but it's mainly meant for testing purposes but i thought i'd just throw it in there to show you guys what you, you guys could possibly do so that's it for this tutorial don't forget to follow me on twitter like on facebook uh follow join my circle on google plus sign up on my website ask questions on the forum and don't forget to comment rate and subscribe so bye for now hope you enjoyed this and bye